Right, we're going to demonstrate how to use the Oracle eBusiness Suite Release 12 and to look at how to create a user and also log in as the user, as, as the new user that has been created. So first of all, I'm going to log in with my username and password. Um, why only Bode and my password, which I'm not going to tell you, but I've just typed it in. Now the password should be case sensitive, depending on the implementation or the installation. This is actually set up by the system administrator. Once you've entered your username and password, click on the login button and that should bring you to the Oracle Applications homepage. The homepage is split into two main parts, which is the navigator and also the favorites. And at the top of the page, you have links to log out um, if you want to log out of the applications, preferences, which gives you information as to how to set up certain preferences for your browsing experience within Oracle eBusiness Suite and also the help link that will allow you to access some of the help functionality within Oracle eBusiness Suite. On the left hand side of the page you have links to responsibilities. Responsibilities gives you access to the applications themselves and this is accessed via menus and functions. So I'm going to select one of the responsibilities. The one I'm going to select is System Administrator and that will open another section in the middle of the page which details the functions which gives me access to each of the different applications. Access to the applications is via forms. There are two main types of forms. You have the web-based forms and you have the Java based forms which are Oracle forms and on the right hand side um, you have the personalized which allows you to personalize your page if I click on the personalize button just to show you the functionality and um, for example I may want to include some of the functions in my in my list of, uh, of favorites so I'm just going to do a search on all the functions within the within a particular responsibility. The percentage sign is a sign used for the wild mask for searching. I'll go into details on that in another video uh, but for, for, for now let me just select the uh, system administrator responsibility and do a search for all the functions within um, the system administrator responsibility. Clicking on the go button retrieves the search result and I can navigate around this page Navigate is a word used mainly within Oracle eBusiness Suite if you want to move around a page or move around a responsibility. And for example, I can select from my list here uh, a list of all the different parts of a, of a search result. So I may want to jump to 81 to 90 of 144 41 records that have been retrieved. So if I select 81 to 90 as an example, it comes to a page where I can then do things like selecting. Assuming now that I want to add my users form to my list of favorites and also uh, responsibilities form so I'll just click on this too and I may want to add some other but let's say I want to add um, define profile options and maybe define regions just as an example once I've added the ones I want um, I click on the add button and that adds my functions to my list I can also add a URL. Now to add a URL, which is an external link, I just click on the add URL button and I can then enter the details of my URL. In this example, I will add YouTube, the URL that I want to add. This is an external link and is used for external links. So remember that if you need to access other links, um, then within Oracle Applications, as an example, you would have to use the functions. If you want to open this in a new window, you select the Opening New Window button. Oh, sorry, um, checkbox. Uh, once you've done that, you click on your Apply, and then your selection is entered in your favorites. What we then need to do is just to show you how a uh, an Oracle form, which is a Java form, opens up, it actually pops up and opens up in a different window, not within the browser window. So I'm just going to select 
define security user and then I'll search for a user or create a new user actually let me create a new user and then I will then log in as that new user so I'm going to create a new user called John Smith so John Smith dot Smith as an example and then my password remember the password is case sensitive in this case so I'm just going to enter my password it's going to ask me to enter the password again for authentication I click on the enter and entering the password again and if that's okay it will actually allow me to proceed to the next field if you notice some fields are in beige color if it's a beige colored field it means that this field is a mandatory field if it's white it means that this field is non-mandatory and I can enter a free text in that field for example here I'm just going to enter John Smith as an example and I can set my password expiration and so on and select a responsibility from the next part of the form for any field within Oracle where you see the three dots then it means that the list or that field can be validated by the values that will be selected from the list so if I select my three dots it allows me to search again you can see that I've got my percentage sign there which allows me to search based upon my search criteria so if I was going to insert system administrator in my responsibility for my new user called John Smith all I need to do is use my percentage sign which is again used for my uh, my search and I can type in just part of the name sys for example admin and that will bring back everything that has the sys and admin inside of it if I wanted to start wanted to start with sys I will take off the percentage at the start and that will bring back only data that satisfies starting with SYS so if I click on start I'm oh, sorry find it comes up with my system administrator and system administration so I'm going to select system administrator click on OK and that's populated in my field I'm going to add another another one for example I'm just going to enter XML just to get XML in there and I'm going to click on the tab button that's another fast way of looking for data in a field and that gives me my XML publisher as an example of uh, a responsibility to add to my user once I'm happy with my list of selection I can click on the save button which saves the data and you'll see down at the bottom here it gives me a status transaction complete three records applied and saved so I'm gonna log out and log in as my user John Smith file exit Oracle applications click on OK that takes me out of Oracle applications completely I'm gonna close the tabs that I have here as well these are additional tabs that are open because I opened up the web form don't close these tabs once you're in Oracle um, that's sorry not the web form the or Oracle form otherwise you will actually lose the session which means that the forms will close without you realizing it now once we back to the form um, the home page I'm going to log out and then I'm going to log in as my new user the first time I log in it will actually ask me to to authenticate myself and change my password so I'm going to you can see that the username is not case sensitive but the password is case sensitive so I'm going to enter my password click on login and that will request me to enter my current password and then enter a new password you can if you want set the password string to a certain limit or put in some other requirements um, for example, you cannot use passwords that you have used in the last five sessions, or sorry, five times, and so on. So click on submit, and you're in the page as a new user called John Smith. Thank you very much for watching the video and watch this space. I will ask you to please subscribe to this channel. There's a lot more videos coming up, and also have a look at our website which is displayed in the details. Thank you.